Chris Watkin here, joined by Russell Quirk. What's your thoughts on personal branding in a state agency? Talk to me. It's central. It's central. So I think the we, we've talked before about the lack of brand loyalty from consumers, as in house mm -hmm. sellers to agents, and the fact that whatever the number is, 18%? One like in that. eight people go back to the original agent they bought their house off. Yeah, so only 12% of people go back and show loyalty to the agent they've used mm -hmm. in the past. And, and given that the relationship is typically one of, what, six months length, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's pretty appalling, really, that most people yep. don't want to go back to that agent. They didn't create a good impression. And again, remember, half the sales that have taken place since lockdown have only been in the house six years, 18 weeks. Yeah, so I think what we're seeing in agency now is a bit of a sea change. In the, you know, in the past, I think, before the days of big marketing and internet and so on, certainly Google ads and so on, I think you know, the big high street agents have kind of got away with and got used to the fact that they would be called in because of their high street presence. There's now a whole bunch of other channels that people will see and recognise as the consumer that maybe entice them to call in an agent for evaluation. You know, not not least because that's marketing. fundamentally the issue of a state agency. How do you how do you be one of the three agents that get called out? Yeah. For that? So, so it used to be I walk through the high street. I mean, bearing in mind a lot of high streets are very different now to what they were 20 years ago. They're coffee shops and hairdressers. You know, they're they're not big shopping destinations anymore. So you you used to go through the high street and you'd see banners and hoardings mm -hmm. as the advertising medium down the state agents row yeah yeah that 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 was how you kind of acquired your uh, your your customer but now it's become much more fragmented much more sophisticated but i think what was actually true back then and is definitely now true and is now becoming more demonstrable is the individual so it it ain't bear stories foxtons anymore it's the individual that works within those businesses when they get called out and they start building a relationship with that seller and they win the listing and sell that property, that is much more down to that individual, I think, and their ability, their knowledge, their experience than the Bear Stories badge above, uh, above the door. Um, and I think what I think the hybrids now, and by hybrid I mean the, the so-called, the, the latest new breed, another new breed of agent, as in Keller, EXP, Nested, the agency and so on. What those guys understand, where they've kind of stolen, or should we say borrowed, marketing techniques from the US, is that you have to self-generate. Now when you start thinking about self-generation of leads and valuations, that then starts to conjure up networking, social media, uh, becoming an expert in your local area, door knocking, those horrible two words that 99% of the people watching this will go, oh, no, I'm never going to do that. Well, you should. Um, and, and building a personal brand in a specific local area as an agent, I think, is it not only works, but it's essential now. And the power, this is the really important thing with agents, the power then becomes the individual agents. So... You know, and, and I'll just use these names just because we all probably know who they are. But the likes of Dominic Marcel and Mil Milton Keynes, uh, Alex Harvey, who's down in Horsham, Hazelmere, Scott Gunn down in uh, Margate, Keller Williams, EXP guys. Those individuals, whether it's on social media or in their communities, at the school gate, you know, at the local football club or whatever it might be, have created a personal brand that they are now excelling as a consequence of in terms of their financial success um, it can be done it should be done and, and I think look the, the this is why I, I it's another video altogether I'm sure but this is why I think the hybrids are going to do so well is because they're unleashing the individual and if the individual does what they, they should do in terms of lead gen marketing and so on then those individuals will get paid very very well over the next few years and I think the brand above the door whether it's best those Foxtons Keller EXP whatever that that secondary that sits in the background you know i mean th there's a guy in brentwood that works for keller called peter garland collins right and he he said to me the other day he's absolutely smashing it you know he's gone he's he, he, whatever the numbers are he's doing very very well indeed um and he said you know keller's great he said keller does a really good job for me in supporting what i do in terms of technology and training and so on he said but i don't win any business because of keller i win it because i spent two years building my brand in brentwood as peter garland collins that's the way it's going to be. That's the future. Thank you very much.